The first section of the exhibit uh, looks at Africa, uh, Africa, the homeland of um, America's future slaves, living artifacts, uh, those types of things that people use as tools or whatever in their everyday life, something as simple as woven mats, the adornments in terms of um, neckwear and headwear, instruments, uh, again textiles and metals. The second section of the exhibition begins the transatlantic slave trade story. Uh, some of the other artifacts are artifacts of captivity, such as shackles, um, a shackle on the wall and shackles uh, here in the case, uh, weapons, um, uh, and some cowrie shells. Uh, what we really want to illustrate here is the fact that there was a real struggle. There was real resistance on the part of African citizens. It's a very complex story. It's not just as simple as Europeans pulling up on the, on the coast of Africa, grabbing people and, and putting them in chains and bringing them to the West. It's much more complex than that. Uh, and so we attempt to tell that story um, in a way that people will understand and be able to see how it impacts uh, American history. Now, what was this all for? It was all for money, basically. That's a simple way that, that uh, you could put it. It was all for money. Uh, enslavement of Africans uh, really um, added to the global economy. Uh, sugar was one of the first major global products. A couple of other um, cash crops that were extremely important were rice, tobacco, cotton, wheat, corn. Cotton's relationship to Pittsburgh is that before you had steel in Pittsburgh, you had textile mills textile mills that were all along the Allegheny and the Mon River and so forth, um, utilizing cotton that was produced in American cotton from American cotton plantations, slave labor cotton. Now as we leave the plantation, we actually leave the plantation. We want to start telling the story about those Africans who ran away. Those Africans who, as John Ho Franklin put it, showed the greatest form of resistance to slavery is that they ran away. The government, the legal system called them fugitive slaves. But uh, when, you, when you look at it, they are not fugitives, not in their own mind. They're seeking freedom. So we wanted to, to sort of impact that, um, that story by sort of um, um, asking questions, in a sense, of um, you know, which way do you go? Who do you take with you? What do you take with you? Um, uh, who do you trust? and so forth. Our Civil War gallery really focuses a great deal on Pittsburgh and the Civil War, in particular the U.S. colored troops. Uh, there were hundreds of uh, African American men from Pittsburgh who joined the colored troop regiments that were formed out of Camp William Penn near Philadelphia. Uh, these U.S. colored, United States colored troops were established in 1863 as part of Abraham Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation. Uh, then there's a section that deals with the 13th and 14th Amendment um, at the end of the war and the 15th Amendment and that period that we call Black Reconstruction, which is uh, basically 1870 to 1900. And here in Pittsburgh, you have the growth of really, the, the, for the very first time, um, a, a, a professional class of African Americans. You had doctors and dentists, uh, businessmen, uh, but you also had the flip side of that, is you had poverty um, in sections of Pittsburgh at the time. You had real struggle, and those struggles were pretty similar to the same struggles that existed in the southern states. And then we conclude the exhibition by sort of bringing um, uh, the 20 and 21st century stories uh, into fold. Um, in this section, um, we will have the story of the Civil Rights Movement, the Great Migration. Uh, we will show those impacts. We would have a struggle for civil rights around the first two of uh, the two world wars, World War I and World War II, Pittsburghers' uh, participation in that, all the way up through the Vietnam War. So the story we want to tell here is that 
Um, again, Pittsburgh is a destination of freedom. And um, whether it was a destination of freedom during the antebellum America period, it's still recognized as a destination.